Hello, I am here to show you how the digital gonorrhea works. Some of you may not know, some of you may know, and some of you may not care because the feeling is just so good, you don't care how it works, you just want it. So basically the show produces a radiance, a sexual beautiful radiance, not literally. It is literally beautiful, it's not literally sexual. But sexuality has to do with um, this. It actually drastically changes it, positively and kind of neg negatively. When you're in abortion, certain negatives are positives. And there's a little there, he's very happy. Also does this to you. Of course, it's an iPod because iPods have taken over all of us, but Ramborja will be soon to take over the world. What happens is it goes into your ear, the, the sounds go into your brain, and they listen to them. Not only do you listen to, to them, but your subconscious listens to them, and it accepts them and it understands this is the true way. It did not know before, once it's heard this, it's known that it knows what it has to do. So it rearranges the brain, it expands certain parts, gets rid of certain parts, and it adds the ballsiness. Ballsiness is in all of us. We just need no, we just need the show to tell us that, to, to explain that to us, and to let us know that we do have the ballsiness within us. We just need the show to get it out of us, and to get it into us at the same time. So, also, Drunk John Rambo. That's kind of me. Okay. Basically, that is how the digital gonorrhea works. It gets rid of things in the brain. It adds things to the brain, to the brain, and it expands things of the brain or one thing from the brain. Um. So that is how the digital gonorrhea works. For those of you who did not know. Um. You feel something on your forehead. What is it? It's balls. This is John Rimmel Presents The Show. My name is John, and I am joined by... Stick your fingers inside and feel the warm, juicy pulp. He is our own personal Ojaku Lantern. Ladies and gentlemen, OJ is here. Hey, everybody, I'm shouting at my microphone. OJ. How are you? I had spicy salsa. Where did you have it? In my house. Where did it go? You ate this? In my belly. How was it? I, I ordered from a Mexican it? restaurant is this a review? three days ago. Is this a food review you're doing right now for YouTube? What is this? I don't know. Are you going to... Not... Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> it was good. So you like what, you see what I did there? Oh, Jack, you lantern. You see that? Yeah, because I'm like... Green Lantern is like the best, and that means I'm the best. It was seasonal, and it was uh, pertinent and true as well. And uh, our intro today came from the great mind at Madhead Productions, Mr. Cal Charles, the Madhead himself, helping us out the last uh, two weeks actually with intros, and um, helping me out big time with that. We'll explain. To, we'll explain uh, how that is a little bit later on the show. We have a little I bit of a pickle situation. A pickle. We're at a pickle, OJ. A little bit of a pickle. That doesn't sound like a good combination of flavors. Yeah, but uh, we'll talk about that later, but we appreciate that. It was an excellent uh, little thing. Explain how the digital gunnery works. Mm -hmm. Now you know. Yeah, I think uh, one of my favorite parts, though, was at the end, when he just kind of went... <laughs> he's a very creative man. He's, uh, he's yeah. brilliant. And you can find him on youtube.com slash Productions. Excellent stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love him quite a bit. You love him. Darn tootin'. You, you, you always tell me how much you love him. So, OJ, like a, yes, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, tell us. What do you want no, to say? It, it, reminds me, 
You, like a mixture of Jeff Winger off. and uh, Ben from Parks and Recreation. Basically, he's really cool, is he's what just, I'm saying. He's just a great guy. Yeah. That OJ wants to hug. OJ, something going on this weekend that we're both going to. Of course, New York Comic Con. They did screw us over, but uh, I am a man of, uh, of greatness, and I'm not petty, and I will, you know, sometimes let things go. It's in the back of my mind. I will seek revenge for them. I will destroy them all eventually. But uh, we are attending the New York Comic Con. I'll be there on Friday. OJ's going. Uh, what are you going there? The middle of the night gonna, when they're closed, maybe you sneak in. Going through I'm going to do my tables. best, yeah. Oh, wow. So, okay. uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be an adventure. When are you going? Saturday and Sunday, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to try and hit it Friday night. I don't know if I feel like Thursday, but I'm going to do my best to see as much New York Comic Con as I can. The thing is crazy. I have a map. I'm going to show the map in a second. I'll, I'll be there on Friday um, with my girlfriend, actually. So if you see me walking around, come over, say hello. Nice. You know, don't, uh, you, can, you know, uh, we'll, we'll be nice to you. We'll say hi and everything. Shake hands, hug, whatever you want. Uh, please do not hit on my girlfriend. Uh, she may leave me for you. You know, a lot of you guys are very attractive. I've seen you uh, in the chat on YouTube and whatnot. And um, sometimes, I, you know, it's tough. Sometimes I don't uh, perform that well, OJ. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Perform. Oh, you're fine with the guitar. I don't know what you're yeah. talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Well, anyway, here's the uh, the map of this deal. Right? I got this over here. And uh, let's see. Look at the, First of all, look at the size of this. Each one of these little <laughs> blocks is, uh, is somebody trying to sell you some useless stuff. And this whole place, they're all try it's like a huge place where they're trying to sell you things you don't really need. But anyway. Oh, no, you need this to live, John. There is one thing you do need. And you can find it, uh, let's see. I'd... I know where it is. I could tell I you, I is. think. Uh, Everybody, it is going to be at booth 774. 774? The Athena's Wink booth. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. I found it's this be on a corner, no? Yeah, I can't find it now. <laughs> it's to the left more. Yeah. I think so. It's try this. Oh, you can't see where my mouse is. Never mind. All right. Anyway, it's in this region. <laughs> This yes. general region, Athena's Wink, will be in this region, and they have the Stay Ballsy shirts there. Right? Stay Ballsy shirts, lovely hats, lovely jewelry, lovely candles, lovely hats, no, shirts and hats, and everything lovely. Yeah, yeah, so you get that there, but just look at the sheer size of this. That's completely insane, man. Is, has it ever been this big before? It's got to be the same size know. as last I, year, I right? I don't know, I don't know. I remember the first year I went with you and our uh, local friend Kevin... And our it local seemed, friend, not our international, not, not, our inter head. not of one of our international friends. Guy. Yeah, not color me Kevin or anyone else, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, why did I get confused with Kyle? Anyway, um, yeah, like it just felt so much smaller. Like the area to the right, like by that entrance, like the twenty three hundreds and whatnot. Yeah, that just seemed so much smaller in my mind. Like that year, it just seems a lot smaller of a space. But looking at this map kind of makes me frightened and think, nope, it's huge. Yeah, it's completely crazy, man. Um, we'll see. I'll be there a couple hours on Friday, probably. Gonna, you know, use it as a, as a kind of a relax relaxation day. Right? Just chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool. Seeing some cosplayers right But I hope, like, if you're going, check, you'll see, try to find me uh, and uh, see what's going on. The guy with the hat and the nose and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, say hi. It'd be fun. It'd be good. Yeah, by the way, um, the reason I one of the reasons I remembered where the booth was was because... Uh, Carrie and Chris are actually in uh, Time Out New York in costume. What, is the, what do you mean? What is that? The magazine, Time Out New York. That's a thing? Yeah. Okay, what are they doing here? What is this? Uh, she is Spider Girl, and he is dressed as... Spider uh, Girl? Uh, spider Woman. Woman, whatever. Sorry. Uh, my brain isn't working today. But, uh, yeah, so they're in there in costume. It's pretty cool. Speaking of that, like I brought up earlier how um, they screwed us over and all that stuff. Basically, uh, we tried to get a, a panel, or not a panel, a, um, a screening. Yeah. And they said no. Um, you can't even feel bad about it because I looked at like what they actually have, and it's way, it's like completely out of control. <laughs> like there's no one like it's even like in our stratosphere, man. It's all, you know, it's all the huge, it's all the huge uh, things, you know, all the movie studios and stuff like that. There's no like really no independent screening thing happening at all. Which is kind of sad. I mean, so, where do the money? Oh, it's their party. You know, we could go or you cannot go. That's, that's how it is. 
But uh, I'll be there and we'll see, you know. It's unfortunate. Buy some stuff. You get, you get to pay to go to a place where they try to sell you other stuff. <laughs> or, t- or show you glimpses. People wait in line to see commercials for movies that come out later, not like next year. So you could buy that ticket. Consumerism. Yeah, it's great. It's a great thing they got going there. And if you think this is bad, try going to San Diego Comic Con where the servers catch on fire and die within three minutes of them opening up. Oh, really? It's Mm. bad, man. Wow. All right, so here's what's going on. Let's talk about this, man. Schnoz Man Hole Punch. You've heard of it, John. You may have seen one of the episodes or two. (laughs) So. I don't even know where to begin with this, man. It's just a mountain of information that we have to kind of explain here. Let's go back. Uh, a little bit over a year ago, we had five episodes done. And OJ and I decide we're going to do three more episodes. <laughs> right? We're going to do three more episodes. We're going to film two of them at the same time. And then the third one will be done after those are uh, was already out and completed. So those three episodes quickly turned into four episodes. Quickly? Took a little while. Took a little while. <laughs> took a little some, while. Some, we had to decide, too. Yeah. It came out better that way, anyway. Anyway, so oh we're talking. Oh, my gosh, about. yeah. So, it's now four episodes, right, we're trying to put out. You've seen two of them already. Now, yep. we're waiting for the third one. So, basically, we filmed three at the same time. And now, everyone's waiting for the third one to come Well, not everyone, but a few people that enjoy the series are, are waiting for the third one to come out. So, the plan was to finish this third one and then begin work on the fourth. So it's not, uh, there's no filming done for that uh, at this point, right? Mm. So um, in, in, the, in the middle of editing this third episode, which is the next one, the, eight, the eighth episode, uh, we find out, or I find out from OJ, OJ is moving. <laughs> which is not a bad thing. It's just, we're, not, we're not here, you know, it's okay. These things happen. OJ is moving, not far from where he lives now, but he's moving out of the, the apartment, which is, of course is our set. So what happens is, I then go, oh shit. So we have to, I had to stop editing episode eight, and, and we have to start filming this, this, uh, this ninth one, because yeah. OJ's going to be out of there, and we can't have access to the apartment. We could, <coughs> we could break in in the, like, the middle of the night or something, but we shouldn't but do that. It would take too long to get all the furniture set up That would again. be a pain, yes, yes. So um, basically what I find myself in for the last uh, probably two weeks has been the most uh, hectic and, and uh, stressful point I probably have, have ever experienced mm-hmm. because I am uh, trying to finish editing the last one so we can get that out in a timely fashion. We're, I'm still writing this next one because not all of it's written. We're filming this next one. We've already begun le- last week when we did two days straight. And I'm also trying to memorize lines because I'm acting in the thing at the same time. And then I'm editing that too because I have to try to make sure the scenes work before we basically go, okay, we're done with that. And we'll never be able to come back here again. So it's just been completely insane. But we're working through it. We're, uh, we're, we're working hard on it. And I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I'd say so. Yes. So with all that being said, I'm confident today to make an announcement about this next episode, episode 8, when it will arrive. Uh, worldwide release, right? They love it all over the world. North Korea, it's, it's very famous. Um... So Shinaz made whole punch to Justice League episode number eight will arrive on Sunday, November the third, which is a couple of weeks away. A little bit of time, not too much. It's not too bad. It, it goes very quick. I mean, look at look at where we are now. It's freaking Save weird. your what? Halloween candy so you can eat it while watching. Was it February now? The time goes so quick. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, no, it's it's a good date. I think it's a solid date. Um, it's gonna be a, a great episode. I think perhaps. Uh, I don't like to say I don't like to compare them or anything like that. Leave that up to you guys to see what you think. But um, it's coming, it's coming. It'll be ready by then. And in the meantime, we're working on this other one. Um, so I don't know. It's uh, I've, been, I've been being pushed. You know, it's 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 a great challenge. Like the whole thing's been difficult from the beginning, but now it's like the end. You know, so it's like um like a video game. Like the end level is like the hardest one. Oh, yeah, or like and you got to fight all the old bosses again. That's what it's like. It's like the, the last great challenge now. And now it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. Being, uh, life is motiv- pushing me, motivating me to, uh, to new levels. OJ. I can't hear you anymore. For strength. Oh, there you are. I couldn't hear you for a couple seconds there. So that's that, man. November, th- November the 3rd. 
It's going to be a very, very, very good day. Anything to add about this? You want to talk about your move or anything or what's going on? Why are you moving? That's probably something people are going to ask and, and things like that. <sighs> I mean, well, I'm glad bring you didn't up, bring so. this part up on the Crowncast to, to let me say it myself, I guess. I was on the I was on Mark's Crowncast and I did make the announcement yep. uh, yesterday. Yep. Yes. Some people got it a day early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came... So what yeah, do you have anyway. to say? What's going on? Tell me. Tell, tell no, me. I I'm know. looking to get a place with my girlfriend. Ah... And this one, this apartment isn't big enough. All right. So there you go. <laughs> and you're not, yeah. you're not going very far. You're not going like to another country. No, I'm, I'm trying to stay as close to where I am now as possible. I'd love to be in the same town. Yeah. It's just well, going to be tough to find somewhere like that we can afford. Well, it's just funny because we were talking about it and you had a, a real estate person come and take pictures of the home and everything. And, and we were talking about like if they only knew what, what, what went on in this place. Now what I remember the other here? thing I didn't want you to say. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. I didn't want her to know that I'd cleaned the house already. Dang it. She probably won't listen until next week anyway, so we'll be okay. What? Listen to the, the real estate agent listens to this, really? No, no. I didn't want my girlfriend to know I cleaned the house already. Oh, well, she doesn't listen to this program. I wanted to She's surprise her with a clean house for like the first time ever. So it's just that there, there's going to be people living in uh, Hole Punchy's apartment, and they, they'll never know what that even no. is. I could just picture one of them like randomly going on the internet. Imagine going, that. That's my door. Imagine Why is my <laughs> door here? You got to somehow let them know about it, like subliminally. You leave some sort of a, a DVD or something. Just drop the business card on the ground. Put it in the floorboard and just they'll be like, "What is this?" And they, what the? F the things that went on in this this place. Where I All the sleep. leaves will know my floor plan. Yeah. No, they'll just be watching, going, "Oh, we got to fix that window over there." Oi. But um, it's uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Are you gonna feel bad like to leave or anything? Or yeah, I guess it's always uh, I, this I moved, is the best I've, apartment I've ever lived in. I've moved several times in my life. Um, Me too. It's always uh, an interesting experience, you know. That last look when you're leaving, you know. The last, last look, look, you shut the door. You're like, I'm know, never coming back here. And then that first night in the new place is always kind of strange. Yeah. But well, then after a couple of weeks, it all becomes kind of the same thing again. Anyway. Well, it's weird. It depends on how you do it. If you're moving really far away and, you know, when you move out, you're done. That's it. You're gone. Yeah. That's one thing. When you move somewhere close and you're slowly transitioning stuff. Yeah. The weirdest night is, yeah, the first night in the new place when you move your bed there. Mm. And you're not in the old place anymore, but you're not really moved into the new place. You don't you really things. have a home. Every house is like house noise. And you're like the first night you're like, is that, is this, is that a ghost? It's just haunted. It's not bad for you because you're choosing to move. When you're a kid, it's worse because you're being basically forced. You have no control over anything. Yeah. So I remember I really one time I had a lot of friends yeah. in the area, like the neighbors were all friends, and then I had to go. And it's, 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 it's a sucky thing, you know? Mm -hmm. It stinks, especially when you're a kid. But your move is actually a good move because you're progressing in life and you're making decisions, and that's good. I'm trying. Trying to. That's weird. Um... I don't know, but going back a step though, like the, I was too young when my parents first moved. I had no idea what our house in Virginia looked like, but we moved out of the place we used to live um, in New York before we moved to the other house in New York. Man, I want to go back there. I want to see what the place looks like. I want to see the closet that I, that I got stuck in and my sister shut the door on me and I couldn't leave. I want to see these things. That, that was last week? No, that was uh, when I was three. And I'll never go there again. Does your sister want to come on the show ever, ever, anytime? I think so. Why don't we have her on one day? We could talk, um, you could like confront her about these issues. Like you, you have her on. Uh, you say like, "What's well, this going to be a nice time?" Or is she going to hang out? And then you start hitting her with all these different things that happened. Oh come on! I mean, she, she didn't. Tell, and you just you know lambast her out of nowhere. She didn't get me stuck in the closet, but she did shut the door after I was there. And you still remember this uh, 50 years later. Old, old, old oh, old yeah. Old. I remember jumping on the bed and getting yelled at. I All remember right, throwing my plastic snake into the shower. It's time for the artwork. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. A, a slew of uh, art from Mr. Bushi this week. Went crazy. Oh. Here we go. Ramborsian Square. We talked about this. I asked OJ last week, would you be okay with your face being in the Times Square? And he mm -hmm. was just like, sure. It's no problem to me. No, no pressure. I, don't, I, I wouldn't even care at all. I wouldn't be nervous. I, whatever. Yeah, the only the only cool thing character. is, I would definitely be looking at that rampage girl right now. So, <laughs> I don't even see that. Where? Oh, I uh, see it's it. Well, you, it's oh, exactly it. where Howard is staring. Actually, yeah, <laughs> well, he would. 
This is Rambo in space, also from Bushy, so you have a, a schnoz flag. As I go to another planet and put down a flag for all big nosed people. Least I could do. Least this could was do. sent in by Nicholas Shifley, and this is some kind of a card game. Oh my god! And he found his character, that he said, This is me. I okay. have that game. Do you have Isn't this card? Isn't that Dominion? That's Dominion. Do you have this card? I don't have... I, so I don't know. Like this... it might be, I think that's in the Intrigue... That might be in the Intrigue expansion. I'm not sure. This may be some sort of copyright issue. Let me check. You're checking for the card? Yeah, I can find out. Well, that is a copyright problem, and I will be suing many people. Did they make money off this game? If they didn't make any money, it's not worth it. But if they made at least $5, <laughs> I will take 4 This comes to us from Mr. Boshi as well. This goes back to last week's new segment. It is segment. from Intrigue. Okay. Sorry. In which we had Howard's Gay Bar, where Miley Cyrus was in a twerking competition with Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> and Ron Jeremy <laughs> as the judges. Uh, Miley ate some uh, wasabi before her dance, and uh, one thing led to another. There was a fecal explosion all over uh. the judges. Go back and listen to last week's show if you want to know more about oh, that. Oh, gosh. I'm just Great picturing, like, shaking up Diet Coke and Mentos. This is also from Bushy. Uh, why? I did not play this game. Skyrim, I believe. Is that what this is? Yep. I'm in the game. People are just stealing my likeness and uh, doing things with it. It's... This is a character from the game, I believe. A, a certain class? A class of character, maybe? I don't know. Uh, you can make the main character look like that. Maybe that's the next one. This comes to us from Mr. Angus Chang. Himself. Randomly got a Steve Ballsy shirt. We did not comp him this. He actually purchased it out of nowhere. And OJ mailed it to him, right? Yep. So that was uh, very, very nice of him. I hope the other shirt I mailed arrived, too, to the other person. I told him that I'd like a, a Homo Lao shirt. <laughs> or Jason Trish, or whatever his name was. And I uh, said, make some shirts, man. Trish. Like, Trish, yes. I'd like, to get a, Trish? I'd like to get a Bowler Industry shirt, so I told him that. But uh, Mr. Angus Chang is actually doing something right now which you guys might be interested in. He's oh, made, pants. He's made a new game. And he needs voice actors for the game. Oh, he's I doing, about that. He's doing a, yeah, public, yeah, yeah. a public audition. Anyone can do it. You basically go to his website, bowlerindustries.com, and you, he has instructions on what he needs. Like, he has lines. You just read them, send it to him, and then you might be in it. Imagine that. Imagine, like, the Ram Borgia takes over. Mark Crown Stories and uh, is on there with Cyber Demon doing the voices. Imagine that. Oh, are they open? It's like, an open day. Like, you can what other people are doing? No, no, you can't never, listen to but other, Okay, that's what I thought you said, and I was confused. I don't know what I'm saying. No, you send it into him, and then he gets to listen to it. You got it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go through this quick, man. I got these, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this angle he's pulled up. Okay. John, go through these quick. These are the posters that we got from Mr. Rye Spirit. <laughs> Tell us what we got. Okay. You, it's faster if I do it, actually. No, here we have the Pokemon Center, and it looks like Abra. That's an Abra, right? I can't really tell from here. It's having a very good day, whatever that Pokemon is. And, um, or is that just, yeah, what is that? Is that an Abra? I'm really bad at this. I don't know what that is. But we got some posters sent to us by the amazing Rise Spirit, who is a really, really cool artist. And I did not expect this much crazy stuff. What's this one? Uh, this is the, uh, I don't know what the best way to say it. Maybe the Meowvengers, or it's the Avengers. There's Captain America. Um, One of them has boobs. Kittleless Fury. Yeah, that's... Yeah, and she's riding Hawkeye the Owl. Oh, well, that's actually... Yeah, he's a hawk, right? Yeah. He's not an owl, he's a hawk, isn't he? Yes, yeah, sorry. What is, the, what is the Hulk? He's like a... What he looks that? like a big angry dog or cat. It looks okay. like a cat, honestly. All right, very yeah, nice. Cap, Cap, it looks like Cap is the only dog, aside from maybe Iron Man. I think Iron, Iron Man's a cat, cat too. Oh, yeah, Thor's a dog, too. All right, we got uh, Batman. Awesome stuff with Robin on the shoulders there. Oh, yeah, it's so cute. That is, like, the cutest thing. This is, like, all the different consoles that have ever come out together in a montage. They all, yeah, it all, they really need to have put BMO in there. That would have been so funny. What is BMO this? for Adventure Time. Tell me what this is. Uh, these are the characters from Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, Asuka, Shinji, and Rei. And then their Evas as well. All right. They're giant robots. Like Megazords. Not, but not, not as cool. Quite. This is the one for the show that he made. This is how this all began. Because he made this, sent this artwork in from the show. And then I asked for prints and he sent like a hundred million awesome prints. So. Yeah. That's what happened there. 
now I know how I'm going to decorate my house. Yeah, and we each got one of these. They're all duplicates and everything, so we all got them. It was a great day. Deadpool doing a Shoryuken. Shoryuken! You got Mega Man, you got Sonic, and that's it. But uh, that's pretty good, man. Pretty effing We're very good. pleased with that. From Australia as well. And he has a DeviantArt page and stuff, or what? Uh, yeah, it's... I think it's Rise Spirit. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. If you if you Google him, dude, there is like he's all over the place. Yes. Um. Yeah. His DeviantArt is rye hyphen rye r y hyphen spirit dot Check it out. Please do. He's a great man. Very nice fellow. People just doing all all kinds of things for us. Why yeah, do we, I don't why know do we why. deserve this, John? I mean, what, is, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're jerks. People we're are just jerks. being awesome for us. Don't include me with your jerkdom. How dare you? Mm. Uh, yeah, we got a code here. I'm going to put that in. It's from uh, Vossel. It's going in the chat right now. Here's a code. Boom. What is that for, my That is man? for Defenders of Ardania on Steam, which is some sort of video game playing thing. <laughs> right? no, I, I have it as well. I know what's going on out there. So there we go. Uh, one thing I want to talk about for next week. If people have pictures of costumes, because it's Halloween time now. It's October. We're heading towards that, that time of year. Remember last year we found all those crazy costumes, John? Everything's sexy. Oh, no, sexy not again. Sexy everything. Not again. A sexy wood chipper was a costume. Oh, yeah. Uh, a sexy cheese wheel. A, oh, that was, that was perhaps my favorite. The sexy Gouda, yes. You had a choice of, of type of cheese. Anyway, well, no, if you want to know the worst one, John, was the sexy Swiss. That was effed up. All the different it's got colors. holes in it. Yeah, not in the places you want them to be. Anyway, if you've seen, like, if you come across online or in a store or something and you pull out the uh, the camera or whatever, you, s you send us some photos of uh, some, some crazy sexy costumes or just crazy costumes in general that you come across in your travels. We all know what the sexiest costume is, right? The OJ. The sexy OJ. Yup. Maybe someone wants to design a sexy hole punch, a sexy OJ. Well, last year we got a sexy hole punch. Yeah, we did. A sexy OJ. Which is be how he looks now. Right? That's Darn tootin'. And, uh, and OJ, we have a new sponsor today. I know that you're already prepared. We now have sponsors on the show. Do I need to keep talking about why we have sponsors? Because we sold out. We sold a big contract. Uh, all these people are making money on the internet except for us. We got pissed off. We said, no, we want to be Become corporate. I want to ride the money train. Choo choo. Right, we want some cash. We we, we need solid gold toilets and suits made of some sort of cashmere, a, a felt, a felt suit. Why do I have to wear this? Filth. Anyway, we've got all kinds of different sponsors. Last week was a shark, sponsored by Sharks. That's a good sponsor. And here we go for this week. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, here's our sponsor for this week. Oh, very all interesting. Right. A big Hollywood sponsor. Yes. Friends, are you tired of living in a digital world? Are you fed up with being able to instantly skip from scene to scene without having to expend any effort whatsoever? Well, take off your berets and prescriptionless eyewear and put on your red and blue 3D glasses because we have something everyone hates, so that means you're going to love it. That's right, folks. VHS cassette tapes are back. Who wants to watch The Hobbit? on five VHS tapes. Oh, wow. That's right. Uh, excellent. Five. You buy it on DVD, you got one little dinky thing. Now you can fill up your entire shelf, your entire house, with stack upon stack of beautiful, glorious, analog, be kind, rewind VHS tapes. Lovely. And as you see, Armageddon coming to video on November 13th. Mm -hmm. A re-release on video. It's coming soon. The studio has over 100,000 tapes that they can't get rid of, so they're actually putting re-releasing -re the video, the VHS. So be on the lookout for that. That's our big Hollywood sponsor for the week. And um, we get three cents for every video purchased. So you're going to so have to go out there. be big spenders, folks. Go out there and get that. that. That's a good sponsor, John. How'd you pull that off? Who did you talk to? Did you have to sell your body? Did you have to seduce uh, a producer or something? What did you have to do? Uh, I had to sell a body. A side note. I wouldn't open the door on uh, November 11th. You have all the tapes in your closet, don't you? Lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> and then some. Wow. You ever see that movie? Armageddon? I saw it in the theater. 
Yeah, I saw it like three times, a million times. You at saw school, three too. times. What do you mean? Why? I don't know. We watched it on field trips. Well, something. like in the bus or something. Put yeah, it we're all just bored, so we're like, oh, we need to watch something. And apparently, it wasn't considered too violent or anything. That's how you know the movie sucks. <sighs> well, no, you know it stinks. If, because... they, if they play it, if they play it during a school trip, then you know the movie's not good. Well, it it, it breaks one of the Steve Buscemi tropes. Or not trope really, but one of the things. I was in. Uh, I was in school. We yeah. um, there was some kind of thing where everyone got a certain grade on this test. Like everyone got over a certain point, then we could have like watch a video and we get to choose the video. Yeah. So um, we all everyone did it. Everyone got above like a like an eighty or something, whatever it was. So the teachers like, all right, I'm gonna go to the video store. What do you want to see? So I think we there was like other suggestions. They all, they all got like shot down. Oh, you can't have that. We can't have that. And we're like, we want space balls. We want space balls. <sighs> oh, boy. So she's like, okay, we'll get space balls. So she goes to the store, whatever. I don't know what happens. Who knows? The next day, she comes in. Everyone's ready for some space balls action. Can't wait. We're all sitting there. We earned this. We worked hard on this test. And uh, she puts the movie in. And guess what comes on? She went to the store, and she got Space Jam by accident. So Space uh... Jam... <laughs> So we had to watch Space Jam, and, we, and then we had to watch. It was almost a punishment. And um, she didn't. She didn't know that. She didn't know the difference. She did not understand that there's. You can watch Shazam. There's more than one movie with space in the name. True, but you could have watched. Got stuck. Gotten stuck watching Shazam for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. I, I may or may not. Have they didn't even. It. That didn't even come out in a VHS or anything. But um, <laughs> that's how, that's what I learned. It's just not even worth trying. You know, it's just. only so, so much i mean there you go and then one time i remember a school trip and it was one of the, the buses that had like the uh it had like a, a vhs thing like a tv yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we had somebody put in somebody like there was some movie in there and somebody got it out and they put billy madison in there yeah and that played for a while and then somebody found out you know um, oh you know what we did uh when um we were on a washington trip that's when they were airing the last episode of seinfeld and everyone oh, was wow. having a hissy fit. They're like, we want to watch Seinfeld not be on stupid trips. Seinfeld's more important. So one of the bus drivers or teachers recorded it from their hotel room. Wow. And, uh, that was played great. It. Yeah, they played it for us on the way back. And then we kind of hated them because the last episode was terrible. <laughs> it was okay. Well, how do you, how got... do you end something like that? I mean, it's, it's very tough. Yeah, but oh my gosh! I mean, yeah, I guess they deserved it, but still, oi. Okay, we're not here to debate that. Um, but anyway, there you go. Good times. <laughs> and great oldies. Yeah. Yes. So I want to talk about something, OJ. I want to talk about something going on out there. A breakdown of society. Oh boy. Society is breaking down, John. And uh, you go outside. You go outside in this crazy blue bubble out there and you see some things just just instantly within minutes you and i were hanging out the other day mm -hmm. and uh, i was walking down the street in the sidewalk and mm -hmm. this dude what happens john tell us what happens with this crazy man uh i'm trying to remember this crazy the guy man. That drove over the uh, thing and holy shnikes yeah that night was awful people drove like jack of basilopes the entire night okay so we're walking down the street and this is a three lane at this point it's a two or three it's a three lane road on one side with the concrete divider and a no u turn sign in the middle and then the other side is another two or three lanes going the opposite direction we're on the sidewalk and then i hear this noise I'm like john turn around we turn around and this gigantic truck has driven through it was like an suv an suv drives straight into the sign in the middle of the road the sign is on top of a concrete divider through, with a crosswalk right in front of it. So the man drove through a crosswalk onto a concrete divider and hit a sign. Takes a sign all the way down and then just starts backing up slowly. Yeah, like... Doo, 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 and then drives away. It's just drives a, it's away. A, it's a breakdown of society, John. That's what it is. Ridiculous. No, and it, got, it was still bad after that because we saw, like, what, three cars driving around... With no headlights no on? No headlights on. Just people I think like, idiots. People being insane. So what happened to me, right? I saw some, some breakdown of society moments in about five minutes. Back to back, right? I go to Walmart, which I guess is my fault. 
to yeah. get to get to get this, you got the Wizard of Oz Blu-ray. It's, it's uh, twelve dollars uh, at the Walmart, so I was like, I'll go get it. Right? <laughs> Didn't even open it or watch it yet. We'll see if that ever happens. Oh but, man, uh, is it in color? Uh, this the second half is yes, the second act and, and on. Then it goes black to black and white. It's a whole thing, John. Uh, no, special even in the effects. Book. No, John. Even in the books, it was it was perfect because in the book they describe Kansas as being completely gray, like no color. That's how it actually gray. is. If you ever go there, it's, uh, it's actually black and white there. Sepia. That's the sepia town. So anyway, I go to the, go to the Walmart and um, you know, you get out of the car and you, there's like a there's like a walkway to get in. There's there's like um one way to get in basically, and what they do throughout the year they stick crap on the wall there that they want you to buy. So in the summertime or the spring it's like flowers, blah blah blah. This time of year it's pumpkins. So they have like shelving outside with pumpkins on it. Trying to get your gourd. Exactly. But there's a dude, and he's like an older guy too, who's sitting outside. There's chairs and there's like uh, benches and stuff down like the sidewalk. But no, he sits where the pumpkins are. <laughs> he's sitting on the pumpkin display. So it's a dude surrounded by pumpkins. <laughs> and he's smoking like a cigar. Oh, and, like, hell the pumpkin king. And then every couple uh, seconds he spits like where people are walking. And he's just doing, he's just doing this completely oblivious. Like this isn't even actually a seat. This isn't a way to, to act in society. And that's what was going on outside the, outside the Walmart. It's like, it's like, what's going on, man? It's a breakdown of society, John. It's not cool, bro. So then I go inside the place, and not literally like three minutes later, there's a group of like maybe like 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 fourteen year old girls that walk uh, down an aisle, and then you see like a dude. That passes him, and this guy's probably 50 years old, and you see him slowly turn and uh, look at their ass. <laughs> and I'm coming like I'm coming like the opposite direction. So I see his, I see him do this whole thing. I see his face, just like almost like um, it's like he's like it's almost like he's there's no one there but him in his mind, and no one sees him doing this. And he's staring. Like dude? Yeah, and he's just there's drool, all saliva, can, salivating. <sighs> And again, it's just any way to act in society, John. I think old folks do whatever they want. He wasn't that. He should have known better than that. Mm. Come on now. It was almost I'm like saying, he thought. It's like he thought he was a ghost. Like if like you were a ghost, maybe you would go around doing things that uh, you no know, one could see. You're invisible. He thought he was either a ghost or invisible or both, <laughs> and that he could just do whatever he wanted and act any way he, he expected to act. I read That's a book like where that like. happened. He 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 basically got like. A, a, a ghost basically was like, yeah, I'll help you. You just got to make sure that I'm bound to this strip club. So he's got his own chair, and he just sits there in the strip club all day, forever. So the, the, guy, the guy thought he was invisible, I think, and he just, let me just look at the, these underage girls. How are you defending Oh, they were for, underage? Yeah, so they're 14. Oh, it's effed up. You're trying to defend this. Oh, that's okay for an old man. I wasn't dude. trying to defend anything, all right, fair enough. John. I'm just that's saying that some old... Whoa. No, you accuse me of stuff, man. I don't say nothing. No, 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 no. You all, right, you're play, all right, you were playing the devil's advocate there in that story, I say. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there's underage girls involved. There's, there's no, you know, there we go. And then uh, today, it's a breakdown of society, John. It's a breakdown of society. Oh, no. What did you see today? So, t so today, I had a couple hours this morning, and uh, I wanted to record some of the music for the, the Shazman Hole Punch episode. And I was all excited. I was all ready to do it. And uh, these, all of a sudden, these guys are outside uh, one of the neighbor's houses, and like chopping down a tree or something. I don't know what's going on. All this equipment. They're drilling or something. Maybe there's oil there. I don't know what's going on. I was like, should I run outside and see if there's oil? Uh, they're drilling. They're going crazy. And then it became a point where I guess they, they went on lunch and they stopped. So I looked outside to see, you know, what's going on. Did they actually stop or not? These gentlemen, there's like four of them. And I did get a picture of this because I think it's hilarious. They decided, let's, let's have lunch. Let's sit in the street. They, they're, sitting, they're sitting and laying. One guy's laying in the street. The other ones are sitting with their food on the, on the ground. In the street. That is genius. <laughs> it's a breakdown Why? of society. A breakdown <sighs> That's of society. just not a wise decision. Yeah, it's not a good idea. I was afraid, maybe, you know. They don't know some of my neighbors. I might be come flying down the street. But, uh, I don't know, just crazy stuff going on. I'm just, I guess it's, it's, it's good these things happen in a way. It makes it somewhat entertaining just to be a citizen of the universe. And seeing you know. all this frightening, frightening stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, I don't know, that's that, you know. Anything to add on this? Anything fun today, or what? More stuff with the, uh, world ending. 
Um, breakdown of society. Uh, I'm sure you can find something. We'll move on from this. Yeah, I don't want to go into it. Fun times. Fun times. For everyone today. It's so time for the new segment. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, sir. Yes? If you want to do it now, we, st- it's, we got time. You. We can do it later. I'm asking you. Well, I do want to say something before I forget. All right, go ahead. Um, yes. Yes. I want to wish uh, the best to Carrie and her family. Um, she posted this on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Her uh, grandmother has had a stroke. Oh, wow. So just... All my best to their family. I mean, Carrie usually does listen to this. I hope Absolutely. everyone's doing a great, a great friend of the show. Yeah. And um, wish all the best. So. Yeah. Anything uh, else? I have t- anything else? This is um, OJ's Corner. This is the part of the show called OJ's Corner. What else you got? I actually had a dream, but I don't think you had the Dream World stuff queued up. I don't know. I'm not prepared with the Dream World. Okay. Um is it a lengthy dream? I guess we could do it. I could quickly uh, set this up. It's about four paragraphs. All right, let's um, all right, let's set it up quickly. Oh my yeah, God, I've been hell. saving this one for a while because it was recent. I just had the X Men pop up somehow. I don't even. You see that? I like the X Men. They're awesome. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, so I'll give a little backstory, right? Yeah. While ahead. you're doing that. All right, hurry up. Oh, I have to hurry. <laughs> so up. I'm myself I, to was, hurry up, I was asleep. But uh, my girlfriend called me and I woke up and I was just struggling to get back. I was trying to get back to sleep. And when I'm in that state, it's a little bit weird. Like it was just really awkward. I don't know. Like if I when I get woken up and go back to sleep, I usually have really weird dreams. So uh, this is me in that weird state trying to figure this out. Are you good or oh, not yet? Not yet. Keep going. All right. So. I don't know. It's like you remember it better if you're kind of not quite completely asleep when it happens. I don't. I don't know what to tell you about that. It's just one of those weird experiences. Have you guys ever had that happen to you? I can't hear you. This is my favorite part of the show ever that we've ever what? done. <laughs> just, you just trying to eat time. <laughs> no, I'm actually doing it, but you're just. I don't know. Keep going. It's funny. All right. No, but seriously, like. If you've ever been in that situation, I highly recommend you write down what happens because it's bound to be entertaining for you and for others. Can I go into the... Oh, no, I guess not. We need the start. We're almost ready. All right. (laughs) All right, go ahead. We're ready. OJ's Dream World, some assembly required. All right, we got it. Okay, so now for the boring part of this segment. Um, Okay. So I was in some kind of school. I don't know what the heck I was doing there. Like... (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, OMG Zelda. I just read that as lewd dreams and I was laughing because that would be awesome. Anyway, um, I think I was there taking classes. I really don't know why I was in this school. It was like an old-fashioned wooden building, like a giant mansion type thing, like a really big colonial-style house mansion thing. It was very sad. So I walked up to the top and I started taking the stairs down. But on the way down, there was a strange landing in the stairwell with two tiny chairs and some bookshelves. It looked like a breakfast nook that someone randomly shoved in the middle of a stairway. And I don't know what kind of crazy person goes, all right, I'm gonna go into the stairwell to eat my cereal and read War and Peace, but apparently this was their idea. So not having any cereal on me, I kept going downstairs. While there, I ran into the headmistress of the school who was a very scary later, later, lady. I don't know what I did, but somehow I annoyed the heck out of her. And she didn't turn me blue or other colors, but she kicked me out and it was very sad. And then I realized I was there to do recon, like spy mission type stuff. And that is totally not me. Anyway, I left. I started wandering around outside and I came back in. I I felt like I was sneaking around for some reason, but I think I was invisible. I don't know why it was what happened. Very peculiar. So I start sneaking around and I'm totally invisible. This is great. Except for one thing. There's a tiny little monkey that can see me. I'm invisible to everyone in the building but a monkey. It starts screaming at me and I know it's going to give away my my position and just ruin everything so I'm going to get caught. And so I grabbed it and it continued to scream. And then more monkeys appeared. And this is where things got awful. This is where it was really terrible and gross and horrible. I strangled that monkey and snapped its neck. 
And then I grabbed the next monkey and the last monkey, possibly smacking him on the ground. And I woke up. But before... Oh, right. So what also happened was John woke me up before this part happened. So I started the school dream, John woke me up, and then I went back to sleep and had that one. The middle part was us in a cave, was people and I in a cave at the school eating pizza. Yeah, we got lost, but we figured we'd make it out. Is that the, yeah. is that the end of the dream? Yeah, I killed the monkeys. You strangled a monkey in this dream. Or snapped its neck, yeah. How does that make you feel? Awful, I like monkeys. Why do you think this happened, John? I don't know. It's weird. It's almost as if I started changing colors and turning invisible and stuff. What? And growing and shrinking. So when you woke up, you were upset. Yeah, I was pretty sad. I didn't want to kill any monkeys. I was kind of like, that was really horrible. On that day, you did, not, that you did not want to kill the monkeys. But you did kill the monkeys on that day. Shock the monkeys. Well, OJ, I... Must uh, send a warning out now to several zoos throughout the country. Especially in New York, where you'll be attending the Comic Con this weekend. Hopefully, there'll be no special monkeys brought in uh, to do any types of shows. <laughs> oh, if I see a Saiyan, it's gonna die. I am quite afraid. But luckily, uh, I am not a monkey. I'm a man. I'm a great man, a very sexy, a sexy man. When I say the word properly, that is what I am. So, it does not disturb me that much. I see. Although people do come from monkeys, there's, there's an evolution process. So it's possible that your killing may evolve from monkeys into other creatures. I hope not. Maybe fruit flies, but nothing else. Hopefully. But OJ, on this day, which is October the 9th of 2013, it is my unfortunate responsibility to inform you that when you were just a child, you were, in fact, molested uh, as a child. <laughs> Redundant. <laughs> Redundant, he says? What is that? When you were a child. Dot, dot, That's, dot. Look, I, it's an important thing. You were thing. molested as a child. It's an important thing that I'm trying to tell you, and you're not taking it seriously. Okay. Happy birthday, Daniel the Red. Oh, we got a birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. There's a lot of birthdays I missed, too. That was before, fun. That was fun. And I annoyed people. I'm sorry. That was fun, John. You're a great man. All right. Let's go to the new segment now. All righty, then. What I'm going to try to do is I'm gonna actually going to write it down um, as well because I, I got lost last week in the the monstrosity that we, that we pulled, which was a Full House reality show f with five different people fighting in the Elimination Chamber for a spot on Full House. Yeah, that was great. Remember that? That was that that was that I would watch that. Okay. So here we go. Do you want to take control of this one? Go ahead. You ask the questions. Okay. Yes. Well, folks, we're going to need a setting for this show. Where is our lovely show going to take place? People are posting like a whole thing. Doug just posted an entire scenario. We can't do that, Doug. You can't Doug, dominate. That is hilarious. You can't dominate but... this dog. In okay. the back of a Honda. Hell. Okay. How about hell? I like that, maybe. Uh... This is up to you. What do you want? I like the back of the Honda because I got one. Okay, back of the Honda. Thank goodness it wasn't a Volkswagen. All right, back of a Honda. What does that mean? Like the back seats? Apparently. The back seats of a Honda, that's what you want? Seriously? All right. Well, it's not the whole show, but that's gonna be that's gonna be a very important part of it. That's part of the show. Where is the Honda? Does that matter or, or something or no? That's up to you. All right, I'm gonna have to take control of this because you're being too uh, wavy with it. You have to you have to be stern. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be in the back of a Honda. The Honda's in hell, ladies and gentlemen. That's where the Honda is. <laughs> then it should be a Volkswagen. All right. Now we're going looking for. Uh, Three, three for yeah. characters. Who do we have? We have to see what our lovely friends will tell us. Three different characters. Gawick does? Three different characters. Any, anyone, anyone. A monkey. A monkey's one of them, unfortunately. Doug put in all, three three sets of characters. Doug is being out of control today. He will be banned. 
Reggie Phil's I'm Hall. A monkey is one. Oh, <laughs> monkey. This is already a terrible scenario. I could tell you. There's no way this is going to be workable. I could tell already. Ray Allen, um, Bob Ross, Ender. Ender's movie's coming out soon, man. All right, the Ghostbusters are in. There's actually a whole group. I oh, need one more. Okay. One more person. Bat Fleck, no. The Pink Power Ranger. Focus on the Burning the Ladies, man. What's, what's going on with this? They have a new album, music video. Do they really? Apparently. I did not know that. Excuse me. I did not know that. Okay, Reapers. Charlie Sheen does not need more television right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Danny Trejo? Uh, maybe. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. All right, here's Danny Trejo. All right, Ivan. And uh, what type of show is this? What kind of a show is this? Yeah, what kind of show is it? What's the genre of show? There, the, the, uh, the, the delay in the chat uh, is terrible for this sort of stuff. A murder, murder mystery. mystery. Yeah. A murder mystery. Cartman. Someone put Cartman. What? As, as a genre? As a genre. Is that a genre now? I kind of like murder mystery right now. Yeah, let's deal with that. All right, folks. This one doesn't write itself as easily. This is a very tough one. This is very challenging. So we have, in the back of a Honda, which is parked in hell, or driving through hell, we don't know yet, inside of this car, a monkey, the Ghostbusters, I think just the three, we want to do all of them, all four of them? Well, or just be before Winston joined? Is this before that? They're not all gonna fit in the car. Wait, no, they'll all fit in the car with Winston. It's they like a, it's fit. like a it's like a bus. If the monkey sits on someone's lap, they can all fit in the car. And Daddy Trejo is also involved in this. Mm -hmm. And it's a murder mystery. Well, I got this. Wow. No, this is great. Okay, go ahead. Sure. All right. So our dear friends, the Ghostbusters, find them after many years of ghost hunting, find themselves in the back of a Honda. They wake up. They're surrounded by fire and brimstone and horrible screams, and they realize they're where the bad people go. Driving the car is Danny Trejo, who's also been slain. And in Winston, and not Winston, in uh, obviously it would be in Ray's lap in the front seat is a monkey whose neck is at a funny angle. Yes. And they realize that all five of them, including the monkey, have been murdered. And it's up to them to wait until the killer eventually dies and find out who the killer is, who killed them. <clears throat> They've all been murdered. The Whoa, killer what died the in the same murder. What? <laughs> okay, everyone was murdered? Yeah, and they all went to a not good place. Why? Well, Vinkman's a liar. Egon's too they're all, terrible, they're all terrible people. The machete kills too much. Ray nearly blew up. Yeah, machete kill, kills everybody too much, and they nobody on the and nobody realized that machete was just a character Danny Trejo played. Yeah. And the monkey, well, the monkey did things. Lots of things. Yes. Maybe he deserved to be strangled. Just a little bit. Okay. And then eventually, um, after many much research amongst the dead criminal underworld, they find out who it was who killed them and how. And they live out the rest of their eternal lives and punishment and stuff. Well, what a, a happy tale from OJ. Well, they, yeah, they, that's what the second series is for. for All right, I've had a little out. time to, uh, to work this out here. Yep. I'm thinking Danny Trejo mm -hmm. is accused of a murder. Right, there was a there was a murder. Danny Trejo was was was, a, was somewhere. Someone saw him there. He's accused of the murder. The trial happens. It's a big thing. It's a celebrity trial. John, you know, everyone loves that. The media loves to suck the life out of everything. It's a big trial, and uh, he gets the death penalty. John, Danny Trejo gets the death penalty, uh, and um, and he's he's killed. Now that's awful. It's terrible. The Ghostbusters, they, they think there's something wrong about this situation, okay? They, they know about this kind of stuff. They suspect something is wrong. 
But they need to talk to Danny Trejo's ghost. They need to somehow talk to him. So, <laughs> so they build a machine because they're smart and they're from an alternate reality where these things kind of things exist. They build a machine that sends them into the afterlife and they go through heaven and hell and they're looking for Danny Trejo. They don't know what's going on. But um, what happens is this murder took place inside of a Honda. Dun, dun, dun! Okay. And um, what the Ghostbusters fail to realize is the back trunk of this Honda is full of feces. Uh. It's full of monkey feces. Uh. And that's because a monkey actually committed the murder The whole and uh, it framed Danny Trejo. And that's why I killed the monkey. And then OJ can OJ finds out about this because he's a man of science. He uh, he takes a sample of the feces. He smells it. He puts a little in his mouth because he's make sure what you know. Try to figure out what he is. That's what he does. He's a, he's a he's a detective. OJ finds out it was actually a monkey that did it. He finds the monkey. He strangles it. He kills it. He alerts the Ghostbusters who are his friends. They come back. They try to. Uh, and what happens is they build a machine where Danny Trejo ghost can come back into the the body. And he comes back. And then we get Machete, Machete 3 comes out. Oh, man. So there you go. What's the name of this uh, epic, John? What's the name? Hmm. Do we have a name for this? Uh, that's a tough one. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get back to that. Ghost Monkey? Ghost Monkey. It's But there's a comma Ghost. in the middle. <laughs> Ghost Monkeys. All right. Very nice. Very nice. That was not easy. That was not that was, that was not an easy one, but we made some sort of sense of it, and that's actually a better premise than a lot of things I've seen, to be completely honest with you. But anyway, let's do another one. So we're looking for a setting here. Mm-hmm. Looking for a setting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers Bar. The Cheers oh, man. Bar. I got stories from there. The Cheers Bar. All right, go with that. Cheers Bar. Oh, man. Or the bar from Cheers, whichever you prefer. For characters, let's say it's me and my cousin's Boy Scout troop. You're putting yourself in this one again? It's it's a really joke. Like... I was going to tell an actual story that really happened. Did you go to the Cheers bar? Yep. What happened at the Cheers bar that you went to? They got they picked a fight with the bouncer and challenged him to an eating contest. They picked an eating fight? Yeah. <laughs> and did, how did this wind up? Vomiting. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> now we need some characters. Go for uh, let's go with uh, four characters. Mickey Mouse. Sure, Mickey Mouse is there. That is guaranteed to get the copyright people involved. I like it. Yep, we'll be kicked off the air completely. The girl in the Uts potato chip bag. Oh man, <laughs> Sheila Booth. She used to stay at them. What's going on here, Mark? We have porn stars being called out. Donald Trump. Eddie Van Halen is there, John. Sure. Eddie Van Halen is there. Paul Rubens. Wait, that's a... Uh... Pee-wee. Yeah. Wendy from Wendy's, sure. What the what? <laughs> yeah, Wendy from Wendy's. That work. That works. All right. And one more, one more. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin. Mark, Mark Sanchez. Uh, Mark Sanchez is out for the year. He will not be uh, doing this. Oh, that's sad. Ricky Gervais wants no part of these productions. He's, he's doing very well on his own. He wants Wah! no part of this. Wario? Wah! Alright, Wario, sure. Sheila the Tank, oh man, Doug with a uh, red versus blue reference. I got Wario, and what, what type of thing is this? What type of show is this going to be, folks? The Good Goblin. The Great Gazoo. We're there, looking for a type of show now. Although I love the, the uh, Flintstones reference. Yeah, that's what we that. There actually is a documentary about porn on like HBO or something, isn't there? There's always a documentary about porn being made somewhere, John. Romance, Gilligan's Island ripoff. A porn adventure? <laughs> Dude, what about a Gilligan's Island ripoff? A Gilligan's Island... Uh, how does that work? Okay, a Gilligan's Island ripoff, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. This is going to be great with what is this? Setting. What is this going to be? What do you got? So the setting is Cheers Bar. The characters are Mickey Mouse, Eddie Van Halen, Wendy from Wendy's, Wario, and it's a Gilligan's Island ripoff. Wow. 
So here's what happens, folks, <laughs> if I may go first. You may, you may. Excuse me. So it's been a long night in Boston. Everyone's tired. Eddie's taking a little bit of a break from touring, you know. <clears throat> Wendy's tired of eating square cheeseburgers. Wario's tired of hoarding gold coins. And Mickey's tired of being so dang cheery all the time. So separately of their own volition, they go to the bar that Cheers was based off of. <laughs> it's not the actual, actual place in It's not Boston. the actual place? It's, no, its name isn't Cheers. I forgot what it's oh, actually right. called. Yeah. Unbeknownst to them, a catastrophe hits... There's yeah. a gigantic typhoon which sweeps Cheers Bar away. Oh, wow. And scatters everybody out of the bar and basically plops the bar down on a deserted desert island. Yeah. So they're stuck there and they have to try and find their way off of this place. And every time, Eddie just somehow ruins it. Mickey is there. Mickey, you know, he's a cartoon, right? He's got all sorts of crazy cartoon power, so he can just build a boat out of nothing. He can pull a steam engine out of his pants. You know, crazy stuff. He's a cartoon. It's, he's got this sort of ability. Yeah. But somehow, every time, it just gets ruined. Wendy, she, you know, she's the female character that uh, Wario secretly likes and never really gets around to telling her. And uh, there's a few awkward situations. And Is there a love affair involved here? Yeah. There is Wario maybe yeah. with Wendy. Is that what's going on? Yeah, but there then Wendy, but Eddie can't. Eddie becomes ridiculously jealous. Yeah, and uh, he picks a fight. He ends up picking a fight with Wario. So that doesn't go too well. Wario eats some bad coconuts and basically does his Wario waft and uh, launches himself into the stratosphere. And uh, Eddie, not to be outdone, finds all the cans of beans left in the bar and attempts to duplicate this trick, causing a massive explosion, sending everybody parachuting away with Mickey Mouse's gigantic ears <laughs> until they land back on the island again. Do they actually make it back? Not in the series, yeah. but after <clears throat> five seasons, or was it six seasons in a movie? Then they, then they finally do make it. I like it. I like it. I think it should be made. Uh, hopefully someone will listen to this and pick it up for next season on uh, ABC, maybe. It's no worse than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Um, I'm thinking, uh, let's see here. So you have the Cheers Bar. It's a, it's a thriving business in, in Boston. Yep. They made a, a bunch of money. They want to get over that hump, do something that's never been done. They bring in, they bring in Eddie Van Halen to do a little solo performance. Just a one night just to send a message to all the, the other bars in Boston. We are the best. Look, we, we got a celebrity. You know, look at this guy. We, we sold out. Van Halen's in there. Guess who shows up? Wendy Wendy from Wendy's comes. Cartoon Wendy or, or actual person Wendy? She's an actual person. Okay. Because she is pissed off about Cheers. Okay? She runs a, you know, a reputable business. And she wants to be the top uh, eatery in all of Boston. So she goes in there. She's thinking about taking over. She's she's in there. She's scoping out the place, thinking about maybe sabotaging things. Anyway, what happens is there's a great explosion in the sky because what happened is Ben Affleck and all those guys went to the the meteor. They couldn't stop it from coming. They could not stop Armageddon <laughs> because in reality that's what happened. You can't drill into something like that. Anymore. So Armageddon, they all fail. They all die. The the, the asteroid's coming to Earth. But what happens is everyone runs outside, except for Eddie Van Halen, because he's, uh, he's drunk. And he, he, he doesn't really care what's going on. He just keeps playing. He's like in a trance, almost. He's doing his crazy shit with the whammy bar, you know. Woo, 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 all that stuff. And Wendy, she's like, oh, everyone's leaving the, the place. So I could probably, you know, get into the office, maybe get some, uh, go through their client list, or I don't know how that works, where they have a bar. So, you know, go through their paperwork. Yeah. You know? So she stays in, but everyone else goes outside. The whole world is destroyed, but Cheers, it survives. It was just built really well. Sam and those guys, they built it really incredibly well. So you basically have Van Halen, you have Wendy in there. They're the last two people inside this place. Eddie keeps drinking. He's out of control. He's drinking so much, 
He's 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 starting to see things. He sees Wario. He sees Mickey Mouse. They start telling him things. <laughs> <laughs> Wario's telling him you got to take out Wendy. She's trying to get you. It's like on the shoulder. And then Mickey's going, no, don't do that shit. <laughs> don't do that. And then they're going back and forth. And um, I have no idea what happens from here. But that's the premise to start up the show. Wow. And now you have these crazy Van Halen with Wendy. Uh, living inside of uh, the Cheers. Alone. I brought my pencil. So there you go. Do you have any you have anywhere to go with that? Panama. <laughs> That's what Eddie said when he landed on the island. <laughs> I see. Yes. But they did, what happens is they didn't realize that David Lee Roth actually... Um, the only thing that survived the Armageddon was cockroaches and David Lee Roth. He actually could survive it. So he shows up, and Aww. it gives it gives Van Halen and Wendy like a common enemy, because he's just really annoying. He's doing his crazy dance and stuff, <laughs> zoom bop, ba zoom bop, zoom bop, like all that shit that he does. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. I don't even know what he's talking about. And then uh, there, there you go. That's the show. Very nice. I would right. watch that. Okay. <laughs> not our best. Uh, not our best. That's the first season. Yeah, you guys got it. Yeah. We had some challenging stuff today, so. They're getting yeah, harder and harder. It's getting really hard. Yeah, we're going to run out of TV. And we're going to have to start doing reality shows. Sweet fell high. I don't think we'll ever do better than that. No, that was pretty much the best thing ever. <laughs> I I want that to be a thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. Skip it a bow. Zoom it a bop bow. Scoop it a doom. That's like what he does, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's a wacky guy. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so we could kind of do a couple different things. Well, let me leave it up to the people watching. There's a couple different things we could do. I know OJ's got to get out of here about 25 minutes. So we could do a superhero spotlight. We could do comments, or we could do calls. What do people want to know? Superhero spotlight, comments, or calls. We want you to tell us. We should do comments anyway, but we'll just uh, do it in an order. People are saying they want calls. Oh, man. All right, do a couple different comments, and then we'll do some calls then. Okay, quick All comments. Right. Yes. All right. James Cast invites us to say, you guys need to start a chain of video game pawn shops and call it GameStart. Place the red in the GameStop logo with green and locate each store next door to a GameStop. It's log logical for the computer to go to start before stop, and green is much more positive than red. I didn't realize that was a stop sign. <laughs> The red and the GameStop logos for stop. Isn't that interesting, though? Isn't that interesting? It says stop, GameStop. They're trying to kill the industry. Red. And it's a red. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like stop here to get games, I think. So it's supposed to be. But... I don't know. You can look at it a different way there. Huh. They would not be happy if you if you did that. Uh, that would be that would be funny, though. GameStop. I'd probably do it if I had enough that cash. Because be I am, you know, full of revenge and anger. All right, everybody. Just like I'm, oh, just yeah. like New York Comic Con does not realize what I'll be doing there when I arrive. Uh, just throw Rambo all your money. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't say that like that. Why not? Throw him all That's, your money, and then he can start Game Start. Just to be a dick. I don't even. I don't even want to be part of the game industry or sell games or retail or anything. Just to be an ass. <laughs> and that's like a good motivation to do anything in this world. Just to be an, an ass. You know. Gets me through my day. Right. Yeah. Like the guy who was sitting with the pumpkins, you know. He was having a great time. <laughs> Cigar spitting. <laughs> I think well, at one point I wanted to have um, a story, you know. I liked it. I liked uh, I liked yeah. the whole thing um, of having like a, a being in the store and you have stuff and you sit up how you like and you get to know the customers and stuff like that. I like all that stuff. Um, I don't think it really works today. Number one, you get uh, robbed. <laughs> yeah. Number two, no one uh, really shops at uh, stores like that. In specialty stores, really. I mean, they just go to the gigantic, megalithic. Or just go online. That's right. I mean, just go online. You know. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, it ticks me off though. Effing UPS guy. We're sorry. We can't deliver your package without a signature this time. So I didn't get my monocle in time. I'm kind of ticked. <laughs> this is what you have to be mad about. You know, there's some guy out there like today. He's like, I lost a leg. I lost a leg today. OG's going, I didn't get my monocle. All right, to each his own. Let's keep moving on here. 
Why do you get angry? Could, Am I saying what I'm saying is wrong? I mean, is it, come on. I could glare at you better if I didn't have two lenses. Don't stare into my soul like that. You know, I anyway. only like when we're together and alone. Shh. Anyway, all right. So we've got our next comment here, and it's from JD93. I like Howard. Every show with Howard is a great one. I mean, every episode without him is a great one. Whoa, wait, wait. Every episode of the show is great. Yeah, every episode of the show with Howie is great. This sounded clear in my head. Howie was like, I think he was kind of freaked out by the new segment last week. Did you notice that? Like, after the first one, he was just speechless. He was like, I don't know what's... He didn't know how to react. He was like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. He hasn't been on here in a while. Things have broken down quite nicely over the last uh, several months. Just devolved, you know. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John's just like, yeah, I agree. No, I'm just trying to not... The, the Are you throwing up? I had a salsa burp. Are you throwing up? No, not yet. Imagine you threw up all on the air. Now you're just trying to find, think of ways to make it happen. No, I just imagine that happened. I'm just saying do it or anything. I just imagine it. That would be awful. I'd ruin my keyboard. This one was expensive. Have you ever done the show like when you're really sick? You did a couple when you were like half asleep. I remember Maybe. one time I told you not to do it, but you were like, no, I'm doing it. And then you were just like completely like, you were, you were, like your skin was like green. You were like, there's something wrong. Yeah, but I, we got through the show and I don't think it was a terrible one. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying sometimes, you know. I like the show. All right. Maybe, maybe someday OG will throw up on the show. Keep watching all the future episodes yeah, to find out. Yeah, someday. I mean, if, if the expired milk didn't get me, who knows what will get me. Yeah, okay. All right, what else we got? Our next one's from 88 Random Dandum. I watch the show on a 32-inch TV on my PS3 surround sound as well. Am I a freak or just ballsy? Probably both. That's pretty crazy, man. I know that doesn't bother, that doesn't mess with you at all because you, you're like, I'll be on the Times Square TV, no problem. Is that true, though? Is that true? Like, you would have no... Let's say you were going to do a live show. Okay. And it's going to be on the screen. Would you okay. be nervous at all? I mean, I'd always be nervous, but I'd just treat it like I'm treating this. It would be like the same approach and everything. Yeah, the, you know, trying to be relaxed and cute. You know, just doing the best job I can, you know, whatever. The, the secret about that is I don't think anyone actually looks at that those screens. There's so much stuff going on, and it's, you know, I don't know. Well, if you do look at those screens, you're guaranteed to lose a wallet. What if I was, gonna, what if I was to tell you the next show, a uh, uh, guaranteed one million people will be watching? That wouldn't have That'd any kind of, awesome. would have, have any kind of like, oh shit, factor to I'd you. probably be like, uh, this is our chance. I need to be really good. <laughs> uh, I guess it depends if you want, you know, to, to keep watching or not. You know, maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, we, we, I know we'd have to grab as many people as we You're could. Cool. OJ, like, the thing about you that's great, and it, I don't know, sometimes it's, it's annoying as well. But it's also great at the same time. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, OJ's always OJ. And you could you may try to change the OJ. <laughs> you may try to influence the OJ or, or, or give him some other sort of uh, idea or, or tell him something, but he will always be the OJ, no matter what's happening. That's a, you know, that's a good quality. Sometimes it drives me crazy, but um, at the same time, it's, it's strong, so. I don't know. That's a good thing. Thanks, I think. It's mostly good. All right. Okay. Let's get one more comment, then we'll go to calls. All right. Next one is from Deco Harrison. We need to have a National Ramborsian Day. A day for the Ramborsians to meet up in our cities, giving us the opportunity to meet other cool Ramborsians. What do you say at the, when you get to the new place? Maybe you have some people down. I think maybe like I think maybe like in the spring or summer we should do something in the city because we've been talking about we've been talking about doing it for a long time. Yeah, I know there's you know a lot of, we got people up in Boston. People Can you rent down. out like a like a room like cheaply? You don't wait for your birthday, didn't you? Like get a, what is that karaoke? Yeah, we could rent a karaoke room or something. Is that a lot of money. No. Well, maybe something like that, maybe. Fifteen dollars a person for six hours of karaoke, maybe seven. Oh, that'd be that'd be fine. We won't do karaoke. Well, we'll do other yeah, stuff. Yeah, we need but. to do something similar. But the reason that is so cheap is because they expect you to buy drinks. What if you don't? They don't kick you out. They don't kick you out, but they don't make much money. Well, I don't, I don't work there. What do I? <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's good. This is something we'll talk about in the future. Let's do some calls. JRP, the show, is the Skype handle. 
please send an IM first. Make sure your mic is ready to rock. Have something you'd like to ask. Anything can be asked. Nothing's off limits. It's perfectly fine, whatever you want to ask. Um, and there you go. Call on me. Call me. Call on me. Kyle Charles Call is so, sending me a huge paragraph. Does that mean you want to come on, sir? I was walking in a kindergarten class, and I seemed to have noticed that the kids were dismembered. <laughs> I laughed, and I remembered I did it. I was scared because I thought I someone read this was insanity. stealing my thing. If he wants to, was... if he wants to call, and he can do it. Wow, that is messed up. Dude. All right, we're going for it. We're going for Torberin. We're going for Torberin. Dude, we haven't heard from him in a while, man. We've not heard from him in a while. That's why we're doing the calls. We haven't done the calls in a while. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey. How you, you doing? not heard from me for, for a while. Yeah, what oh. happened to you? You were in prison or something? What happened? School. School, it's kind of so like, yeah, like prison. prison. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, no, actually not. School is actually fun. Oh, good. Really? Nice. The, the school I go to is fun. The school you guys go to is probably shit. But... <laughs> <laughs> Since, yes, uh, it was actually shit. It was. It was called the Shit University. <laughs> it was literally shit. Uh, yeah. shit. Where, do you, where do you go to school? Where is this? <sighs> oh my god, am I gonna fucking tell the name and No, like English? what what what, uh, what country is this? Norway. Alright. You go to school in Norway? Yeah. The only shit about that school was I um <laughs> I was welded on. <laughs> you got welded on? Like what was that? Like a flame? What do you mean welded on? Yeah, um I go on I go on like a workshop uh, deal. So we was we were gonna weld, yeah. and my friend was gonna weld something a bit higher, and I had to hold the shit. And my teacher just said, "Okay, just just go under it, just go under him." And like he was welding into my hair. <laughs> oh man! When did you find out? Uh, I found out with the you smoke alarms. Uh, you didn't went. feel the oh, flame. You didn't wait, feel the burning. Wait, the, did the smoke alarms go off because your hair was on fire? No, there was, there was some um, burning. No, our teacher didn't uh, take to account that if you if you put uh, if you torch um, what is it paint a different smoke comes out oh. and the whole school was like out and we we were like walking like ah <laughs> free. <laughs> so it was actually a good thing that happened. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta take one for the team. It could be a bad thing. Because we can blow up the entire school. Yeah, you don't uh, want to do that. You probably yeah, uh, you might be incarcerated. Bad. You might actually go to jail for that. <laughs> uh, Can't even I... say that in the states. You you could if this was if you were in the U.S. You'd be like having people kicking down your doors, arresting you just for saying that. We did oh, not no, have dude. we did not have welding. We had a wood shop, which I did yeah. have, and I was they not very it, good at. Yeah, uh, we we have like an an entire line like. Um, uh, uh, I, I go in a line that uh, is, is all workshop. Uh, everything we do has to do with workshop, uh, math, workshop, production, learn how to weld, how to fix cars, how to do, uh, I think, uh, something called a lathe or some shit. Oh, cool. And uh, What's it like to enjoy school? What's that like? I never experienced that. <laughs> What's that like? Like, you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, this is good. I get to go to school now. Like, yeah. Is that how it works? I go up every, every Thursday. I'm like, yeah. Wow, I can't even imagine that. That's a great thing. until the weekend. So. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, right. Jeez, what the hell, man? <laughs> we come to Norway. Go, go to school I would again. love to come to Norway. You guys got some good uh, stuff going on there. Yeah, I heard. Pretty awesome place. What? What? What are going on? What do you hear, John? What do you hear is going on? If I'm thinking of the right country, I heard that. No, I heard that the schools were actually pretty good over there. Yes, they are. They are clean. You get to light people's head on, heads on fire, and, <laughs> and, and you don't go to get in trouble. Oh yeah, and we almost <laughs> torched a cat. Torch the we cat. Al- How did this happen? We, al- we almost torched a cat because uh, we have this device that cuts through metal. And uh, it uh, creates a lot of sparks. And then Edgar, Ed, oh. Edgar, the uh, the cat was walking behind us, and uh, and uh, and we were torching. And, and suddenly, I I just see behind me, and there was a cat. Was oh, like, let me ask you one. Let me ask you one more thing before you get out of here. 
your friend that that burned your head. Are you playing yeah. some sort of revenge? Can you tell us? Can you tell us what's no. going to happen here? Are you going to kick him in the balls? Maybe he's not looking, or or take his girlfriend away from him. What are you going to do? No. What are you probably do? my teacher who was playing what? a revenge on me. <laughs> oh. Uh, because it was actually him that that said he was going to weld. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, uh, nice. we'll let you go, man. Thank you for calling yeah. in. Um, yeah. you know, be safe, and I'll, I'll be seeing you in Norway eventually. We're going to. We have a list. Norway, Sweden is on there. So uh, it's close to that, right? Yeah. It's okay. Pretty close. We'll hit you on the way way back, man. Nice. Yeah. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye. Good night or morning or whatever. I don't know what time of day it is. I don't know. Cal Charles. He wants to come on? Oh, no. You've actually never spoken to him before. Oh, no. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm a little nervous about it. Gah! <laughs> ah! Hi. Oh, my voice sounds disgusting. He wants to come on? I'm, um... You gotta turn off the stream, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. I think he knows. He's got I'm it. I'm Fraser. How are you, buddy? Awful. What's happening? What? What's, what's going on? Is it, is it because I stole your 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 video? Is that why? Yeah, that's. <laughs> Wait, you didn't you didn't ask him first? I asked him a while back, and I said, "Is it okay if I use some of your videos?" This was like a long time ago, and he said that was fine. Oh, so okay. Once. once. Yeah, one time. And then I asked you once, and then I did it. Well, I did it a few times after I got permission. Well, I do it because I like your videos a lot. You're actually my favorite channel on all of uh, YouTube. Yeah, it makes me suspicious when you say that because that's obviously not true. Am I a liar, sir? Is that what you're calling me, a liar? You're insulting uh, me today. Uh, well, that's a Canadian thing, because we don't trust Americans. Well, but you we shouldn't. Well, that's okay. actually good, because hey. that's actually a good thing to do. Oh, do you want to come over? I trust Canadians. I have a room here in my garage that I've built for you. Oh, a special... What, do you, what does it have? That was built, it was built especially for OJ? What does it have in does there? Does the door have uh, locks? <laughs> few, um... Piece of cardboard. <laughs> oh, he loves that. He likes to Wait, chew it. Oh, he's dude, kinda... I like to make a fort and kind of nibble my way out? He's kind of like a gerbil, like a big gerbil. You aren't, you're not allowed to eat the cardboard, OJ. I'm sorry. He will He will chew on it. You have to, you have to hit him with a stick, and then he'll stop. <laughs> it's kind of like training. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, mall. Sir, tell us a little That's... bit about yourself. You've uh, you've been a uh, you know a big part of the show for quite some time. I don't think you've ever been on, though, as a caller. Yeah, optionally. Um... Tell us a little bit about yourself. You can lie if you want. But just um, tell us some details about your personal life. I'm actually staying up till uh, it's actually 3 a.m. here. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's the same time zone. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I just feel kind of. Uh, uh, I feel. Well, I'm sorry. There are interesting things that said on Okay. Oh. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Sir, your videos are very creative. No, they're not. I think they really are. Uh, some of the stuff They're quite disgusting. Some of the stuff really makes me laugh quite a bit. Some of the, like the um, the things you do. How did you develop this, this style? Uh, uh, well, for, there there's there's one major step. Mm -hmm. I get very bored. Yeah. That that's I don't know. Then I just do something for fun. That's good though, because you know a lot of people yeah. they might do something stupid uh, when they're bored. Yeah, well, and you're doing something constructive. Yeah, that's that's my inspiration. Skills. Yeah, so okay. you're doing something that's good, and I think um, I keep going with it. Definitely keep, keep making stuff. You should make stuff all the time, man. I think I should I stop, but I won't. No, no, keep going. I watch it. We're making people vomit. I'm watching everything you do. You're not gonna yeah, make anybody. Well, I kind of want to stop. Actually, that's one of the reasons I because wanna... because of me, I, I ruined it. it. It feels a little. I feel a little violated. <laughs> you just can't. You turn the camera on. You just know. <laughs> you can feel the eyeballs. You know, up somewhere. When, when I press the upload button, I feel regret, John. I... Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not the worst thing you can feel. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, where are you in Canada? Do you mind telling us? Where, where are you exactly? Or just right, the it's... province. Where am I? Yeah, where are you at? Like, what kind of question is that? Where do you live? Where's the, where's the address? Province, whoa, just the province. Whoa, calm down, John. Give us the province. We want to know. Okay, Ontario. Osco. I uh, used to live near your lake. That's where OJ's from, Canada. That's why there's so many bodies here. <laughs> Although there's a lot of monkey Just floating bodies. Floating over from the American <laughs> side. Yeah, smoky bodies. 
What do you know about... Here's, a, here's an interesting question for you. Okay? You ready for this? <laughs> yes. There's an individual that's been a big part of the show for a long time. Is it Cyber Demon? No? It's not okay. Cyber Demon. Okay. But he is also fits that category, so that was not a wrong answer. Don't feel bad. It's okay. There's a gentleman that we would like to meet. He goes by the name of the Ramborgian Doorman. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love that guy. But I also hate him. Because <laughs> I think... He's amazing. Because... I kind of, yeah, okay. Do you have any information on who this might be, where he is, where he's from? Are you trying, to get, are you trying to get him to narc on the doorman? Yes, I am. <laughs> As you may or may not know, we do not know his gender. He may not have one. Um, but I, I, I'm very angry. Well, not angry, but I'm kind of, I almost had a mental fight with myself against him because I don't know who's crazier, me or him. And uh, Wow. Are you uh, saying well, that perhaps he's a part of you? That would be... Oh, God. Oh, my mind has just been opened up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. This is what you do. This is... This is what I do here. I push the red buttons and I, you know, I make things happen, okay? Big red buttons that OJ should not be allowed to push. I'm a broadcaster. This is, this is my profession. I make $3 for every time we do one of these programs. Well, ten. you get 10 cents from me every month. Really? So like, oh, three, thank you. Well, it's because the plugging that you unoptionally do. Yes. I will pay you to stop, John. No, no, that's, I will not do that. It's you don't ridiculous. want his hooligans coming over to your channel? Canadian money's actually pretty good, though, right now, so maybe we'll talk. But, um, so yeah, the man boys are dormant. What do, you, what do you want to say? Just tell us something about Canadian him. Canadian right? money. What do you want to say about what's him? Right? What are you your Red Borgian oh. Dorman, what's he all about? We're, so it's getting out. Um, yeah, uh, what, do I, what, what do I want to know about him? Yeah, well, what can you tell us about him? I, I already know too much. Um, tell us what you know. Well, well, he is doing the Shifty Shades of Pulp, which I was going to help with, but I'm kind of too lazy to, and I'm very busy with my awful, <laughs> my awful work here at the production. Awfully awesome. Yes, thank you. A awful, it's awful. Yes. Ramborgian Dorman, I don't, I don't know what he looks like. I kind of don't want to. Do you think he'll ever what? appear on the show? Uh... He he may, but may, maybe as someone else. Maybe he's already been on the show. We don't know. Wow. <laughs> that well, is trippy. I think you've destroyed us all tonight. Our minds, our bodies are laid to, wa to waste. I've done it again. The show is now ruined because of your appearance on it. Sweet. You've done it. You give the weirdest compliments <laughs> ever, John. Mr. Charles, why don't you come down to um, OJ's house one day? Again? Uh, well, yeah, again. Last time I went there, John. I was not impressed. I wasn't there, but I heard the stories. Well, yeah, I tried to get you for help. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to call you for help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All there's um, is orange juice, and I got sick, because uh, the only thing <laughs> I've been taking is vitamin C. I need other vitamins to survive, John. I see. Uh, but scurvy is the worst thing. You must fight scurvy above all so else. Is, John, you have to understand. There's more than just scurvy. <laughs> scurvy. It is a cool thing to do. I'm doing that right now. I'm doing what OJ's doing right now in my house. Getting yelled at for it. But it, oh, the scurvy. Scurvy is not the most dangerous thing, OJ. Okay. Mr. Carl, Kyle Charles, we thank you for coming on, sir. My prescription to you, because I am a doctor of sorts. Keep making the videos, man. They're excellent stuff. Okay. I'll don't try. stop doing it. Don't, don't stop, man. Don't give up. Come on. We need we need people like you out there. Kicking some asses. Kicking doors down. <laughs> yes. All that stuff. And um, But if you kick down the door, you might crush the door, man. We would like to collaborate with you as well someday. So keep keep going. And if you'll have us, we'd like to do something, baby. I'd actually like to say one thing before I get kicked Absolutely, out. Absolutely, yes. OJ is my favorite. Aww. Oh, I'm my favorite, favorite too. Movie. I wish I could say the same, but I can't. I'd be lying. Because <laughs> you're uh, my favorite, that's why. Aww. All right, buddy, we'll talk to you later. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. Have a good night. The Rainbow's Dorman cool and uh, Cal Mr. Cal Charles, very similar. I wonder if there's more to that story. Are you inferring they're the same person? I don't know. I, mean, I didn't say it. It's possible, though. Got my eye on you. Do you? Let's get Lewis in here. All right. Let's do the thing. OJ, OJ had to go about 10 minutes ago. We're making him stay. Another uh, 
five minutes or so. I want to apologize to all those birthdays that I missed. Oh, time is out because he's here now. Hello, our friend to you. Birthdays you missed. Yo! Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. How you guys been? Doing good. How are you? Pretty well. I'm in college now. Whoa! Whoa. Everybody's grown up and moving on. Excellent. Moving on up. How's that going? Um, it's going well. I'm in a, I'm at a community college in uh, in El Centro. Okay. How's it different nice than deal. How's it different than high school? It's bigger. Is it More better at, at all? Um. Well, they have real food, so that's a plus. <laughs> That's a big part of education is food, yes. I agree with that. What, what kind of food do they have? They have sloppy joes? None of that stuff anymore? Uh, they have, um... Well, they first got a subway. They have a subway in the school? Yeah. That was tremendous. That was tremendous. Huh. They don't have a, they don't have a uh, buffet, do they? No, not really. John, that's what your school had a buffet? One of the cafeterias was a buffet, yeah. It was a buffet cafeteria? What is this? What, what do you, you, you pay to get what in goes and on at these get schools? infinite food. Wow. Yeah, much... but the problem is the food always was weird, and you'd have to use the bathroom shortly thereafter. Well, it wasn't that bad, like, but everyone, used, like, to, everyone like, used to claim it? they put laxatives in the food. Why would they do this? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, to sorry. Weed out but... the, to weed out the, str the stronger uh, students from the weaker ones? I guess. <laughs> The why? reasoning someone gave was that, oh, the buffet is not quite hygienic enough, so you have to get it through your system faster so people don't get sick. And that made no sense whatsoever. Huh. Well, but you've got a Subway and stuff. At least you got a, you know, like, that does have, it's better than having a McDonald's. Yeah, there's always, there's a, always a McDonald's around the corner. Oh, I know, I right? And if I don't like the food there, I could always go to the uh, Italian restaurant right around the street. Oh, man. You're all taken care of, man. Do you even go to class or you just eat the food all day? What's going on? No, I go to class. <laughs> Watch out for the uh, freshman 15 herder der der How are the classes going? They're going well. How were the uh, the ladies at the school? Oh, they are fine. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's cool. That, may, that must be a nice thing, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a new experience, I, I can tell you that. A new experience at, at the high school was it the same way? Well, it's certainly different. I... Certainly different. Okay, I see. Um... <laughs> it's too soon for me to tell. Too, you're still you're still performing uh, some tests. You're not, you're not sure yet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Did they give you ratios before you signed up for the school? Ratios? Yeah. What like my school is fifty one percent female, forty one percent forty nine percent male. Look at this guy. Why does he know this? Because <laughs> it was a very important <laughs> factor in my decision. This is the stuff that he looks up before he went. Yeah. Do you believe this, Lewis? This guy over here? Come on. <laughs> Come on, OJ. What? I needed every every extra advantage I could get. <laughs> Are there any Dios. monkeys at the school? Monkeys? Not anymore. <laughs> monkeys. What's a, what's a cool class that you take, Lewis, that you like? Well, right now I'm just taking some essentials. Mad, uh, speech, uh... Psycho psychological. Do stuff. you have like something you want to become later on in life that you like you know about? You know, I've been asking myself that that question every day. I think I'm still asking myself that, and I'm a lot older than you. But uh, <laughs> I, I guess you get I guess you'll get there, man. You know. Yeah, dude. Look, my my dad will go to me and say, "Hey, John, you know what you want to be when you grow up?" And I'll say, "I don't know." He'll say, "I don't know either." <laughs> so you got your whole life to figure that out. Nice Lewis, is a, Lewis is a great guy. I met Lewis in person in Dallas. Mm. And, yes, uh, for SGC. For SGC. And I thought he was, a, he was a very attractive man. He was a nice man. And I think he's going places. I'm glad that you're doing well in school, man. Well, that can, comes a lot from you. Really? Aww. From yeah. me, of all people. Yeah, you're the one who inspired me to go to college. What? Nice. what? How, does, how did this happen? Nice reaction, John. <laughs> I like that. Because, man, you're John freaking Rambo. Wow, man, that's awesome. That means a lot, you know. Uh, if I accomplished anything in, on this earth, that's it right there, you know. 
appreciate that, Lewis. Even if you just made it up just to make me feel good, I still appreciate it a lot, man. Well, like they kind of make it up. All right, that's, I'll, don't tell me that now. Come on. Aww. I actually got it from you, OJ. <laughs> you're just rubbing. You're just salting the wound right now. <laughs> Seriously, man. It's, just, it's like a roller coaster. He brings me up. He takes me down. <laughs> Brings me back up again. That is harsh, Bran. Oh, Lewis. Uh, you watching wrestling, Lewis? Oh, uh, yeah. I haven't stopped watching wrestling since I was five. What are you watching now? Well, all, all, all kinds of wrestling, man. Mainstream, hardcore. You're watching, what do you want to know? You're watching WWE Hard, now? Jello. <laughs> I do watch WWE, but, you know, I'm if I want to have... A real good time watching wrestling. I'm gonna watch some um, something good. What do you want? What do you want to watch? If something good, what do you watch? Right now, Lewis, watch something good. What do you watch? All right. <laughs> right now, uh, now that Chikara is still on hiatus, right? There are there are these satellite company. Co- ah, sorry, it's the stuttering problem again. It's okay, man. It's all right. I stutter a little bit. There are Probably these satellite that. companies called Wrestling Is. They're called Wrestling is Awesome, Wrestling is Cool, Wrestling is Art. Wrestling is Fun. Wrestling is Fun, yes. And it's been a roller coaster, man. Yeah. A lot of things have been happening in, in that small world. Dragon Dragon just died. Who? What? Here, here's the setup. There's a, there's a guy who, uh, there's a wrestler who cosplays as a giant dragon. Okay, is this, okay, let's see. A literal dragon. All right. And all of a sudden, this wrestler just chops his head off. <laughs> Live well, murder on wrestling. <laughs> Which uh, company is this? Uh, wrestling is it's one intense, I believe. Oh, wow. Okay. They're, they're, they, share, uh, they share wrestlers from time to time. Okay. And they killed that guy. What's the promotion that has all the, all the monsters in it? The, like the movie monsters? You know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's called... Kaiju yeah, be- Big Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is it like that? <sighs> sort of like that, yeah. Okay, so there's actually, there's actually murders taking place in this? <laughs> yes. Damn, okay. That's scary. Well, there's no blood in it. Yeah, yeah. Still. It's all fun, John. Don't worry. It's OG, all fun. OG seems very disturbed, but he's like, oh, no. I can't tell. I don't like, I can't, he's like, OG's like, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I just... <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> well, actually, something's been going on right lately, right now. Tell us quickly, Lewis, what's going on? All right, you guys know what the colony is, right? I've talked about yes, it before. I do, yes. Well, Green Ant and Fire Ant are looking for Soldier Ant, who left the company a while ago. He's lost. <laughs> All of it, they go to this guy's house. They saying if they if he's seen him. Okay. The who guys. Is, hmm? Who is this guy? They don't show him, but it's implied that it's a guy named Worker Ant. The guy oh, who went to retire. Okay. And he's in a and he shows that he's in a wheelchair. Okay. They don't show his face, but he gives a box to Green Ant and says, "You're not a Greenhorn anymore. You're a worker." Whoa. Make me oh, proud. Oh. Whoa. So wait, so he's moving up in the world, huh? Yeah, it's sort of like a. Remember, you remembering? You know, like in comic books, how they uh, how the mentor gives their uh, apprentice their okay their costume. Right. It's sort of like that. He's sort of passing the mantle of worker ant. Well, that's, that's, fun, that's fun stuff, man. So then they're gonna need a new green ant. They might me. They might. They might do. This guy. Whoa! I'm just stepping in the ring for the, finally after all the times I've been telling him to do it. And then I and then I die. Well, do you think OJ could be a, a wrestler? Maybe. Like, like, what kind of gimmick would OJ have? Does he even need one? Just be himself, maybe. Oh no, no! I got one actually. Right, He's perfect for Chikara. What, what would it be? <laughs> What? Here's here's his gimmick. Okay. He's a giant orange. Okay. And and his tag partner is a giant carton of milk. Okay. They're called they're called the juicy they're called the juicy milks. Oh wow! Okay, I see what you did there. Very nice. I thought you were gonna say it was gonna be an apple because no one can compare. Can he wrestle in the suit? <laughs> an orange suit? <laughs> Dragon Dragon did it. He did a freaking moonsault on that thing. <laughs> Seriously? Yes! Dragon Dragon. Wow. 
Very nice. Dragon, dragon. He's not super. He's, he's not ultimate. Right. He's, he's just, a giant he's just dragon. Two, two dragons. <laughs> two dragons. No, no, no. That's what he does. He, he he pulls people by their legs while they're stuck on the ground. So he's dragon, dragon. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff, I'm, man. Lewis, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for calling in, buddy. Uh, hope to talk to you soon. Good luck with everything that's going on. Sounds like you're doing good things out there. I'm doing good, man. All right, buddy. Bye, OJ. Good Bye, John. To Have a good night. Later, nice dude. to hear from you, sir. So I don't know if I inspired him or not. I don't know what's going on. Oh. How, do, how do I know? I, I, I think you did, John. I don't know. I'm not sure. He's messing with you. Yeah, I am. But... <laughs> How come he disappeared completely? I don't know. All right, well, OG's got to get going. Sorry, and folks. There's a few other people. Mark wanted to get in and Doug and a few other people. but uh, Yeah. If you want to hear uh, Mark, I was on Mark's uh, Crowncast yesterday. It's his channel, youtube.com slash Mark Crown Stories. Mm -hmm. Where they first announced a few things, and they talked about hockey and a little few other things. Yeah, so OJ seems to be on top of this. Bam! So, of course, your Comic Con. I'll be there on Friday. I'll be there probably most of the day. I'll be walking around, having a good time. So, uh, if you uh, want to say hello, if you're there, that'd be really great. It would mean a lot to me to uh, to meet you and, uh, you know, say hi and everything like that. So, that'd be fun. OG will be there a bunch of days, too. So, if you're not there Saturday, Friday, assume, yeah. Sunday. And um, go to the Athena's Wink booth. 774, I believe. Which is in that northwestern uh, quadrant of the huge map. Yup. And they're, they have the Stay Ballsy shirts. They have um, all their stuff. OG's candles are there and uh, mm -hmm. the hats and all that cool stuff. So please check that out if you're there. <coughs> yeah, um, and if you see us wandering around, I'll probably be at the booth Saturday and Sunday, but if you see us wandering around, please say hello. Yeah, that'd be great. It'd be great. And of course, Shadaz Man and Hole Punch, The Justice Lease, episode number eight, will be here on... Sunday, November the 3rd, so you got a few weeks to prepare, whatever you need to do, I don't know. Whatever that may be. Get your, Put get a tarp your, uh, down in front of the computer. Get your computer monitor nice and buffed, you know. And mm -hmm. Get all the dust off and make sure it's all ready to rock. And uh, that's it, man. That's a lot of good things are going on. I feel, feel really good. Good times and great oldies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else to say, John? No, I just want to thank everybody for listening to the show tonight, for coming in, for calling in, for commenting and saying all the things that you did because you guys are really awesome. You're a bunch of cool kids. Yeah, we have a good amount of people on today too, which is great. So <laughs> that's good. Dell, we'll be back next week with a recap of Comic Con, and I don't know what else is happening. I don't even know what it is. We'll find out then. Together. All right. So for OJ, this is John signing off. Thank you for being a part of John Rambo Presents. The very best and free and optional entertainment. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Dr. Nick. <laughs>